Hello and welcome to Math 151, Calculus 1. My name is Gregory Moses. I will be your professor for this course. And the purpose of this video is to help my online students orient themselves and make sure you can find everything that you need to find in order to be successful. So here we are in CSC Online, Math 151, our course home. The course home is where you go to find the learning material in this course. If you scroll down a little, you'll see this video. You'll see some preliminary material. If you want to know a little more about me, a page that our Teaching and Learning Center set up to help orient online students. You'll find our syllabus, and then you'll find links to our course material. And at the moment, only the week one material is open. Um, each week's material opens Monday at midnight. So week two, the stuff that will be here, will open August the 30th at midnight. So if I, this is just a very brief what is calculus kind of intro. If I click on our first textbook section, you can find videos and written notes and audio notes on all of the material that you need to master in this section. And then additional Creative Commons videos if you want further practice or further instruction. It's not necessarily assume that every student will use everything that appears on this page. Like if you read the written notes and everything there makes sense, maybe you won't bother with the audio notes for example, but I figured it was better to have too much material rather than not have enough. Online students are expected to make use of the textbook, but the way the textbook presents material can be a little eccentric. Like, it's not always where you'd expect it to be. So my personal advice would be that you use my notes to get a clear idea of what parts of the textbook I want you to focus on and what material in particular I'd like you to master. And my notes and my video are kind of my, my presentation of the material that I think is important. If something's in the textbook, but it's not in my notes and not in my video, then you don't need to know about it. If you scroll to the end of this page, you'll find homework. We actually don't have homework from section 1.1. Um, we do have a self-introduction that I'd like you to do. I set up that Meet Your Instructor page, so fair's fair. I'd like to meet you. And then forums, and there is mandatory forum work for online students that takes the place of in-class recitation. But I also use forums for um, homework questions. 
is. So this section doesn't have a homework assignment, so there is no link to a forum. But if we go to section 1.2, there is an assignment. And if you're doing this assignment and you're having trouble with one of the questions, you can go to the forums and ask for help with whatever it is you need help for. Speaking of the homework, here I am in the assignments tab. So not counting the forum self-introduction, there's only one homework assignment this week. Usually there will be more, but we're just doing prerequisite stuff this week. And the textbook selection of homework problems isn't great. So this week you just have the one. You click it, you see what the problems are. You would do this homework separately on a sheet of paper. I do not recommend trying to do it like in a word processor, for example. And then you'll either scan or photograph your assignment and you'll upload it here. So choose a file, we'll submit a set of my notes. If you have more than one thing that you need to upload, maybe you're photographing your homework. So you've got a photograph for each page. You just press the button again and upload the next file and so on until everything's been uploaded and then you submit it. Now this first homework assignment, let me see, I don't see the due date here, but this first homework assignment is due Friday of this week and that's not the usual due date. Usually homework assignments are due Tuesday, the week after the section opens. So ordinarily homework for week one would be due Tuesday of week two. Homework for week two is due Tuesday, week three, and so on. The only reason this week one homework is due Friday is for administrative reasons. Um, our administration wants us to have an assignment due before the second week so that we can tell them which of our students are participating and submitting homework. Let me see, if you look at this list of tabs here, you do not see a tests and quizzes tab. So, our first test is anticipated to be week four. And you'll take that with a proctor. That is to say, you'll find somebody I can email the test to who will administer the test to you. Like public libraries frequently offer testing services or community colleges, or you might, if you live in a large city, live near a dedicated testing surface. Um, don't stress out about that. In the rare situations where I've had students not be able to find a proctor, it's been okay. We've just worked around it, but 
do maybe start giving some thought if you live near a community college or if there's anyone who's springing to mind who could act as a proctor. Other than that, I think that's about it for now. Um, we do usually have recitations on our Thursdays. So three lectures and then some kind of recitation where my in-class students do in-class work. Ordinarily, that will be done by online students in the forums. I don't think we're going to have it in the first week. So there shouldn't be a forum assignment this Thursday. And next week, I'll post an announcement telling you when the forum assignment is up, what you need to do, stuff like that. So once you've read our syllabus, you should be good to go. But if you have any questions about the way this course is scheduled, if you ever have questions about the material, there's something that you don't get, please just shoot me an email or send me a message or post in the forums, however you choose to get in contact with me, I'll be sure to get right back to you.